Hey guys, it's Stacy Lambert Creations 26, and I am here. I am trying to redo this video because I I'm drinking my Diet Mountain Dew, and it is just I mean it's like making me burp, and I apologize for that. So I had to turn off that video. Um, I'm still sick. We're still trying to get over this crud that we've got, and as far as we know, it's just a sinus issue thing. So. You know, we don't want to hear none of that. Well, you shouldn't be going out. Da, 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 you're sick. Um, I've been tested for everything. It's all negative. So I am not contagious to anyone. So anyway, um, here, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Salvation Army. And a lot of times I find good things in there. Sometimes I don't find anything. But I do come out a lot of times with some really cute things. Like I found this roll of ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And it was 49 cents. And I found that at the Salvation Army. So I grabbed that. I found these really cute um, Easter stickers. But they're chicks and bunnies. And I'm like, you know, you can use these all year long, you know. Except for the one that says Happy Easter or Easter Greetings. Easter. You know, things like that. You know, but the others you can use all year long. Um, I probably wouldn't use the egg ones, but the bunnies and the... The chicks, I would. So, I got these for um, 25 cents. thought they were super, super cute. And then, this little lonesome bunny <laughs> pin was sitting by himself. And I was like, oh, you're so cute. You got to come home with me. And I gave 29 cents for him. Super cute. And I will use him on a project. I found these. And these are old... Um, I was thinking that there was a date, but uh, I don't guess there was. But anyway, I'm going to be hanging these up. Um, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures, Psalms 23, 2. And um, it's just an old vintage photo, really super cute. So I grabbed that. And then there was another one. And it says, the glory of the Lord shall endure forever, Psalms 104, 31. And I'm going to just leave them in there because this is their, their original um, frames they came in or what they were put in. Or what have you. I'm going to leave them in those. And then I found some books because I'm always looking for different books. Uh, the Salvation Army has the best prices for books as far as I'm concerned compared to Goodwill or compared to like other thrift stores. Um, but in the same return... Um, there's a lot of resellers in there that go in there and they clear out the books really quick. So sometimes it's hit or miss or what you can find. And, you know, sometimes I'm just looking for old vintage books to add to my collection because I love collecting, vi co collecting vintage books. But I did find this one. Um, it's Edward Everett Hale, The Man Without a Country. <clears throat> a Country. And I basically, I got this for just you know because it was vintage it was old and i want to use this um i'm probably going to use the pages in this for um you know a journal and then i thought this was really neat it says a pocket of robert frost's poems and look at that that book was 60 cents so i thought this was really really cool so i grabbed this that will be going on my shelf um, I may scan in some of that to use in, you know, for junk journaling, but I want to keep this intact. Um, then I found James L. Sullivan, Your Life and Your Church. Um, sometimes I like just picking these up to read them. And then I also like them because, you know, they're, um, they're old and stuff. So um, I could use pages out of there if I wanted to or... You know, just, um, I, I just, I don't know, I like the cover, so I grabbed that. And then I grabbed the Golden Book of Rel Religious Verse. It was an old book, and look at that, that little cross. Somebody made that little bookmark, and that came with the book. So I just thought, you know, I was like, this is really neat. So I got this, and I'm going to, you know, I want to, 
I like looking through these and seeing, you know, what's in there. So, um, I also found this. I've never seen this before. And it's called Andy Panda Goes Fishing. Isn't he cute? So, I thought this was a cute little book. Um, you might could scan those images and, you know, just use it in, you know, your journals and stuff. I don't know that I would want to tear this apart. And then I found this one, the teeny weenies, the, the teeny weenies in the wild wood. And I picked that one up. I thought it, you know, I just thought they were cute little books. And then I found this and I thought this would be really cute to take apart and use as um, pages to either scan or what have you, but it's butterflies, skippers, and moths. And it's just got all these little, you know, it's an old book. It's all these old images and stuff in it, and I thought that was really cute, so I grabbed that. And normally, like, they're, they're like, children books are like, I don't know, like 25 cents or so, 10 cents. I can't remember, but They've got a really good deal on their books. Um, so next I'll show you something that I picked up at Providence um, one day. And this was before I did get sick. But um, so I found this little um, made in Malaysia for Oxford. But um, it's this little, little bunny. And... Um, I'm being really, really picky about any kind of, like, um, figurines and stuff I pick up because I don't want to get overrun with them again. Uh, but I do. I love the little bunnies. And I don't get every one that I see, of course. And then, but now this one, it would, they were a set. So there's the other one that goes with it. So, so, so cute. And those are going to be sitting on my shelf. And then I found some jewelry pieces to bust apart uh, for the beads. Mm -mm. And then there's like this one. And this has got like little angel charms on it. And then there's... Yes, which I thought would be pretty to um, bust it apart and just use the, the flower pieces off there. And then you could use the chain. So I thought that was pretty. And then there was this. And guys, I'm here to say I don't understand how anybody can wear these heavy things like this around their neck. I mean, this thing is heavy. But I like the the beads I liked, and I was like, oh, I can use that, you know, for charm making, so I grabbed those, um, but that necklace is, like, really heavy, and I'm trying to grab stuff that was from Providence, um, and all of this is, like, from different trips and stuff, so I'm, I'm wanting to share with you guys things that I, I found, because I like to share my treasures and things that I'm going to be crafting with and that sort of thing. I did find these for 79 cents and it is just picture words, flashcards. I got these to use in my journals. I thought they were really cute. And I found this for 99 cents and it is a wall hanger. Um, I love it. It's very just... Um, I don't know, shabbied up, if you will. I, I really like how it looks. And um, uh, I don't know how much somebody paid for this, but it was from the con Concepts and Time. But I gave 99 cents for it. And I thought it was really cute, so I'm going to get that on the wall. And if you know me, you know I love Peter Rabbit. And I already have one little uh, tea set. Um, I don't know. It may be just like this. I don't know. But anyway, um, this one is in its box and everything. And it probably is the same thing. It looks to be like the one I've got over there. But I paid $4.99 for it. I thought it was super cute. And I'm like, it's in the box. 
I love Peter Rabbit. And I grabbed that for myself. And let's see. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my voice, but there's nothing I can do about it. And I did get a bunch of books one day when I went into Providence. <coughs> And I found a lot of um, hymnals. And I like to take these hymnals and I like to, when I find them like this, I'll take them apart and I'll make like uh, flowers. Um, and then I'll, uh, you know, use them on projects and things like that in books and stuff. And then I'll use the music uh, sheet notes and stuff for back um, backdrops and, and um uh, ephemera and stuff like that so I found that one and then this is another church hymnal that I found so I grabbed it and then I found try and stop me I don't I don't know what this is about I actually got this because I like the cover so I'm not sure of anything about this book or anything um, I have no idea but you know I thought you know I basically wanted it for the cover so that's why I got it and this is another hymnal um, that I found that I just love to have these on hand because you don't find these a whole lot and I found this it's a big book of nursery tales And I thought it was cute. And so I grabbed it to just kind of... Oh, I didn't notice that was in the back. That's cool. But there's just all kinds of like little illustrations in here and stuff. And I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that. Let me move this off the table. Um, and then I found this. And... I still like looking through books and stuff like to get ideas. I know that this is older stuff, but you know, you never know. There might be something there you, you hadn't seen or something, you know? So I still like getting old books like this. Um, I don't buy them a lot, but if I find one that catches my eye, I will pick it up. And I paid like, I don't know, 50 cents for this, maybe a dollar 50 because they probably put this one in, in the adult book section. But I think their book prices at Providence um, is a little bit high considering. Um, so then, this here is some other stuff that I found at a trip to Providence. Let me just get this stuff out here because I'd rather just have it out of the bag. I'm sorry about the rustling of the bags. I know a lot of people don't like that. I don't really care for it myself. But I didn't have any other way to do this at the moment. So I found this um, this earring. And I just got it just to bust it apart. And I found this one. Boy, them were some blingy. I, let's see. Now, I think this was just a charm piece, you know, on a necklace. But... And then I found this for um, putting on one of my Reborn dolls. It was really cute. So I grabbed that. And then I found some wall um, wallpaper that's got teddy bears on it. Um, so I grabbed it. Thought it was really cute. It was vintage looking. So I grabbed that to use in my um, crafting. And then I found this because I love snowmen. Um, I think I'm going to use this on a charm, as a charm, on a um, journal, a Christmas journal. And then I, I found this piece here. And then this one says the joy of Christmas is family. 
And I found these beads here, um, this necklace, so I could take this apart and use those beads. And I found this vintage um, sheet. I love, I am like my grandmother when it comes to this stuff. I love the, the vintage, the old sheets like this. I think they're so pretty. And I basically, I collect them is what I do. Um, and that's just being honest. I use them for like backdrops if I'm, you know, uh, doing that. Or I may use some of it for a journal cover or something like that. But it's very rare that I do that. But I will do that. Um, but I might, I, mainly when I find these like this, it's something my grandmother used to collect. So I do collect certain ones that I know she would have been like, oh, I got to have that, you know, type thing. Because I am my grandmother's grandchild. I, there's no doubt. <laughs> Um, then I got this whole, um, thing of this trim at Providence for $2.99. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I found this. <laughs> the girl up front, she is so sweet. Um, but she saw this and somebody had made this into a lamp. And what it was, it used to be a bunny. And, you know, it had its ears and everything, but the ears was missing. Well, all of this is beads. So, you know me. I'm like, um, and, uh, I want to say she charged me like $2.99, but I was like, between the safety pins and the beads, it's worth the $2.99. You know, I ain't worried about the pom-pom stuff. I mean, that can go in the trash, but the beads, that was well, well worth the $2.99 along with the safety pins. And I thought that was really cute how they did that. Um, it gives you inspiration on trying to make something, though, huh? It does me. <laughs> so I got that. And then I found um, New Songs of Inspiration. It's another um, hymnal. And then I found this little Christmas book here, which was super cute. And Y'all, if I could have found more of these, I would have been in heaven. When I was little, me and my brother, um, my brother Travis, we used to watch the Get Along Gang. And um, he had Montgomery Moose, and I think he had Bucky the Beaver, and I had um, Zipper the Cat. He was my favorite. And uh, Bucky was one of my favorites, too, but I didn't have a Bucky. My brother did. I'm pretty sure my brother had Bucky. Um, I know he had Montgomery, but I found this and I would love to find more of these because this is uh, just part of my childhood right here. And then I found this one, the three little pigs. And, you know, these were the ones I want to say that they came with a record, I think. Um. I think, well, I know, I know this one did, because it's right there, but um, I'm sure this one did, probably. But anyway, and then I found this, uh, Wildflowers of Eastern America, this old book, and I, of course, I'm thinking ephemera making and stuff like that, and there, there are some images in here, and I thought, you know, those could be used, you could um, scan them in. And use them in your journals and things like that. Because I know that's what a lot of people do. They buy old ephemera and then they scan it in so that they can hold on to the original. Now, one of the other things that I got, and I really, really just fell in love with this because I've never seen a small one like this. But it, it's the Holy Bible. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And, um, it's, you know, it's very well coming apart. Um, oh, this will be nice to, these are notes and stuff that they, that's cool. I didn't even, I didn't even look honestly to see if, you know, anything about it. I just, I actually saw this and was like. I want this, and so I just basically got it because I thought it was really neat. It was really old, and I wanted it, 
so I got it. So isn't that beautiful? So this will be going up on my shelf. I just, I love that. I just really love that. Um, okay, so we got one more bag of stuff. And I had went to, like I said, I went to Goodwill yesterday just to get out of the house because I had to get out. Um, there was a lot to find, but I didn't have a lot to spend, so I wasn't able to get a lot, but I did get a few things. And there was one of the nicest ladies in there, and I will tell you about her in just a moment. Okay, so this is everything. So, I went over in the trim section. That's where I hit first. And I found this trim. It's wire. It's a metal trim. This came from Hobby Lobby originally. Um, it, it was sold at, at Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to show that to you guys. It was originally sold at Hobby Lobby. So, I grabbed that. And I'm going to use this in my, in some, uh, because it is metal, I'm going to use it in some of my um, albums and stuff. And then I'm going to use a piece of it for a, a stencil. So I grabbed that. And I got this really cute ribbon for Christmas. I found a Dick and Jane book, which I like to get these. Ooh. Okay, can you please stop that and focus? I don't, there we go. It's a really cute book. And I've got several of these, but um, I would love to find like the old Dick and Jane. But, um, but anyway, I picked that up because um, sometimes I find them there. And I grab those. Um, let's see. And then I got this beautiful um, old looking piece of fabric. And then I found these and I was excited about these. Um, this is for my Epson printer, and they had, um, I know you, buy, when you buy these, you can buy them either single or you can buy them in a box together, but they were only selling them for $309 each, and I found the yellow, the black, the cayenne, and I, I just needed the magenta, so now, when it's time for me to refill my printer, which is going to be a good while, because, um, that you can print a lot before you have to refill. Um, that was for my Epson printer. And so now all I would have to do is get the, the magenta one. Um, now, I, I know you guys are going to see this and be like, oh, he's so ugly. He's so dirty. Um, he is dirty. He's very dirty. But I found one at Providence one time that was worse than this. It had mildew on its face and its clothes. Now, I did have to replace the clothes on it, but um, I worked and worked and worked and got it cleaned up, and I'm hoping to do the same thing with this because I do like these little trolls. Um, I have one that my dad bought me when I was a little girl, and so it's a sentimental thing to me. So anyway, there's that. I will um, do an update on that when I get it, uh, if I can get it cleaned up and show you guys. I did find two old patterns. Um, these, I like to take the patterns out and just use the pattern to wrap stuff when I send it to my friends. Um, and then these I keep to scan in to use in my journals and stuff. So I found that one and this one. They had a ton more, but um, like I said, I didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't, I didn't get a lot of them. I just got those two. And then I found this Tigger stencil. Love, love, love this. Um, it was 209 Goodwill's gotten to where they're going up on their prices. I mean, some of their prices to me is just crazy. I did find this Happy Planner. Um, and it is just the album. Um, looks like this. And then you open it up. It doesn't have the, the ring bind or anything. But I'm planning on making this into a journal. And, you know, just using it um, for myself or something. I don't know yet. I haven't totally decided, but I am going to alter that up, so that will be an upcoming project for me to share with you guys. Now, this bag of bling, 
if you are a crafter, you know that this stuff is not cheap at Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um, and there is a lot of this. So this was probably on one of those um, spool things like what that other fabric uh, trim was that I just showed you a few minutes ago. Well, there was this lady and she had this already. She had done picked this up and I was looking and I saw it and I said, oh, I said, you lucked up with that. You know, and she said, oh, it's only $5.99 and she showed me, you know. And I said, oh, you really lucked up. I said, oh, I wish I'd just been here just a few more minutes earlier. And we, you know, laughed about it. And then um, I, I was like, well, let, let's go see what else we can find. So I walked off and everything. Well, a few minutes later, she come and found me in the craft section. And she said, ma'am, she said, would you like to have this? And I was like, oh, no, no, you know, you go ahead. You know, it, it's fine. You know, I said, um, I said, I'd love to have it. But, you know, you, you go right ahead. And I said, I said, it's okay. And she said, no. She said, I want you to have it. And I said, are you sure? And we kind of talked back and forth, you know. And, and I said, thank you so much. And then she was explaining to me, she's thinking Christmas ornaments. And she said she was thinking, um, like, outfits for their church play for Christmas. And she said, but she thought this would be a little bit blingy for that. And she said, so, she said, here, you go ahead and you enjoy it. And so I was like, thank you so, so much. You know, I really, really appreciate that. And then, you know, I was thinking, what a sweet lady. And I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, I also want you to know, I said, I am not contagious. I said, I have been tested for everything. I said, this is just, you know, sinus stuff. And she says, um, she says, it sounds like you got laryngitis. And, you know, and so I was just like, well, you know, I've been tested for, you know, COVID and all that. And I'm, you know. I, I just want you to know I'm not contagious. She just, don't worry about that. It's fine and everything. And um, so we talked a few more minutes and then we went on shopping. And then there was another, uh, two other nice ladies that was trying to help me find the magenta um, color to that ink, but we never could find it. Um, but I said, you know, I said, I've been blessed, you know, plenty here tonight. And I was like, you know, I, I'll, I'll walk away without the magenta, you know, that I, I'm good. I'm good. And um, so I thanked them for helping me look for it and went on and, and did a little bit more shopping and got up to the register, guys, and got blessed even more because this, even though it was five ninety nine, dollars uh, green tag was 50% off. So I got this for like 3 bucks, three fifty, And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. All of that. And I just asked the Lord when I went out to the car, I was like, you know, Lord, Please bless this lady who blessed me tonight. Please bless her in some way that she's not expecting. Because, um, you know, that's what it's all about. It, you know, that that's what, you know, this whole world we should be about is trying to help each other, bless each other, and, you know, help God to bless, to help, to help God bless others. And, you know, and just be thankful each and every day for all that he does for us. Um, I hope and pray that y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry about my voice. There's nothing I can do about it <laughs> until it, it clears up and gets better. Um, I am going to be working tonight on some crafting stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get this stuff out of my way so that I can craft. So I hope each and every one of you have a blessed day, a blessed rest of the week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.